and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as a Four Kids at 147. And it took me a while, um, but I have finished this painting. I say it took me a while. It wasn't the painting's fault. I think I've just I've just not diamond painted as much in the last week. But um love it now it's finished. As much as doing 310 can be tedious, it doesn't half make things pop. I think we can all agree on that front. But it is time to put my spare diamonds away. So this one is around, so they will all be going straight into my spares, and then I will pop this into my binder. But I think this is the first time I'm putting diamonds away with all my spare diamonds looking so pretty. They've got the dividers and everything. So this is my 100s to 600s box. Now the first one um, that I have, because these are still in DMC number order, is 310. And I do know already that I have filled my quota of 310 and that any others that I have are to share with others, especially in the round. In the square, um, they're used on my heaven and earth designs, but in the round, they're not. So because I have a lot in this one, and it's not like there's only, you know, 10 diamonds or so that I could squeeze into the bag, I'm gonna put all these straight into just an ever moment bag with the number written on the front, and I'm going to pop them into a plant pot I have under my desk. I say a plant pot. It's a, it is a plant pot. It's from Ikea. It's this metal tray plant pot that I use on my storage. Um, on my Calax shelves for, for things, for little bits. I am going to put them all straight in there until I decide how I'm going to sort those out. I have no idea yet how I'm going to sort those out at all, but I do know that they're currently all in one place. Sorry, I'm just changing over my batteries on my charger because it's finished. It's a long day of filming. Okay, so now I need a three, two, one in round again. So I have a bag here ready for these. Now let's see how it works tipping them in this way. Okay, maybe not. Now, the benefit with these containers is that they do come apart. So what I can do is I can, if I can get it to work, they're a little bit stiff because they're new, but they do slide off, which means I can then use the corner to tip them into the bag by sliding off the one that I've done. So maybe this is an ideal time to sort of get them all to come apart because I don't think I've ever got them all to come apart before. So maybe I'd do it when I'm deep kitting. And they actually, are originally, they're in smaller rows. So I'm just getting the diamonds. My little stickers are coming off perfectly. Where's the rest of them? Here. So this is my other sort of row of them that I didn't need to use for this painting. So therefore, one of those off each one needs to go on here. So they're easier to get on than they are to get off, but I need another one, but that one's an end piece, so I can't use that. Oh. Well, that one came off like a click. No, that one wants to slide. That's fine. So, 371. 371. Let's see. Lift it up enough that I can see it. And we'll pop in these. Look to be a slightly different colour. Then again, there looks to be about two or three shades in there already. That's fine. I put all mine together regardless of shading. So if I put that one on here, 
that is now how they come as a row of seven so that is one ready to go back into my storage and they'll, they'll all be the same size i seem to have caught my nail okay six 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 will be all the way over here somewhere six four six there it is got quite a big bag of these but i've got plenty of room and i've just realized i've not put three two one away that's because i'm too busy messing with these little boxes but that's okay because they're all numbered up so at least i know where it's supposed to go three two one let's try putting that one away as well so that is my first box done my next number is seven three four so let me slide that one back on some of these are a lot stiffer maybe i should just use my funnel and not fight with these every time i want to take them apart or put them back get back in it's nearly there no nope. okay, I'll fight with that after so that's my ones to 600 done so now my next box is 700 to 900 and I've got 734 first Oh, and I didn't have any of these in round before. So that's a new one. I've not got loads of them left, but apart from the 310, the colours weren't particularly in bulk anyway. Will that come off easy enough? That one did. I don't think it can make its mind up how easy it's going to come off itself. But these stickers are coming off nicely, which is good. That means I shouldn't have to use any goo gone. So let me see if I can get this one back out again and switch it over. I don't think it wants to come out, never mind going back in. Okay, it can stay there. That one slid back on really easy. Seven forty. Seven forty. Again, I have a bag with some in it, but not full. So I'm going to top it up. And take the label off. And then see if that one will slide on easy ish. So it's only really that end one that I'm struggling with. So that's 740, 741. Tip them in. And then 780. 780 is here. And I don't have many of those either. But because I've reached the end, at least I don't need to try and take those off. Okay, so that's my first row of colours done. And I've only got six. Oh, try and get that sticker off without leaving my energy. Um, I only have six here because, of course, I do have an extra one in here as well. Oh, they've just decided to clip off. Okay. Is that one going to come off? Or is it these end ones that we do have a problem with? Some of them seem to have been stuck together. When I first got them so I'm going to keep those two together I'm going to move that one into there because I'm not fighting so let's do this one first though in number order so let's do 898 which is quite a full bag so far but not full full so I'll add these in 
nice amount of spares. So that's 898 and then I want 939. The nines are a little bit fuller than the rest and this bag is very full as well but there's enough room for these because there's only a few because the painting only had touches of those colours in after the black. Take the stickers off. I'm liking the way they come off. I don't know whether that's the stickers or whether it's the container, but I'm not arguing with it either way. But that is anything up to 900. I've just got 3000s left. So last pretty box. Here we go. I, I must say I'm liking these dividers already, making it a lot easier for me to find what section it is that I need. But 3371 is actually the end of the three threes, which I've not quite realised before putting these dividers in, that that ended up being the end. But that's a little bit easier for me because then I can just put it straight back in as being the last one. So if I take this sticker off, then this container can go back in with these. And that gives me my other row of seven. And then this one will be my last row of seven when I've finished. So three, seven, five, zero. Let me see if that will lift up a bit. And then I go straight on to the three eights. Got one stuck in the bottom. And that's sort of a deep blue. Not quite 939, but close. And that whole thing comes out. I didn't even realise that's how the top's made. And that slides in. And then it should click into place in the bottom. Can't believe I didn't even notice that the whole time I was working on it either. Oh, that one's come out that way. Okay, that's fine because I only need this side. So 3819. And this is a bright lime green, which actually mixed in with the yellows on the painting. So that's that one done. Let's fasten those two back up together. And then 3822. Two. Again, I've got a few different shades of yellow in this one, but whatever this may be, it can just go in with it. Oh, it's so pretty putting them away in this. I must admit I am enjoying putting my spares away and I do like these dividers. It does make it a little bit easier. Even if it does take up more room and it has made me go back into fully into three boxes, it is making it a lot easier to find the numbers. Especially the likes of the three sixes that could feel so they got quite lost. Take that one off so that I've got the corner to tip in. I don't know whether it's easier to get a funnel or a tray or whether it is to take the boxes apart. And then 3845 is the one after with another shade of blue. And that's it. That is the spares away for that painting. There was only 310 that I knew I already had a lot of and it was not worth trying to fit them into the bag in any which way. It was easier just to put them into the pass along ones. And this sticker has been a bit more of a pain than the others but luckily I have four corners to try and get it off so that I can get it off without it ripping completely. 
put this one back on and that is this storage done and dusted so that end piece will not clip in right but it will fit back in my in my tub of storage without causing me any drama and that is my 3000s finished so i don't need this anymore what i do need to do is get this one ready and framed so i'll pop my little tub back on my pegboard and get my big pair of scissors that i tend to get gunked up with glue because i use it for cutting round canvases all the time now because this one is all on black and i mount all my paintings onto black card what i'm trying to do here is make sure that when i cut round the edge i do not leave any of the white canvas on that edge because it will stand out like a neon light as soon as I put it onto a piece of black card. So if need be I cut it closer than I necessarily would need to but that's because I don't want it to show up. So it'll just show how badly I can cut with stick with scissors if that happens and I'd rather not have that staring at me all the time I did put washi tape on the top part of that one just to stop the glue the glue overhang seemed to be a little bit more on the top than it was on the rest though the bottom part of the glue did pick up little bits of fluff but I actually finished the bottom part in one evening so I didn't put any washi tape on it and then the last side so while this was a 30 by 40 painting the actual image size is a bit less than that and because of that it actually fits on a piece of A3 card really nicely if it's true 30 by 40 you do actually have to cut a row or two of diamonds off for it to fit on a piece of A3 just due to the sizing so let me grab a piece of A3 card this is what goes into my display book and while you get the height so the height is over 40 the width is only 30 and here we go I can see a piece that I've missed there we go so now it is black on black you can choose to mount it or anything like that if you wish but I like to put them on straight and then what I use is just some double-sided tape and I just tend to put about three strips on longer strip at the top and the bottom and a little strip in the middle and it is just enough to sort of hold it onto the card and not cause too much of a problem so the first thing I do is while the tape's there I then try and line it up on my black card but of course looking in the camera it's black on black so that looks about in the middle so what I'll do is pull it back and get the double sided tape off I tend to fold it over on its corner and then push the tape onto the back of the canvas and it doesn't stick well to the back of the canvas but it sticks enough and you can always get some higher tack tape but then once that's in place when you then pull off the next one I tend to then let it roll and it will roll down and it tends to then keep the right shape because of the weight of the diamonds and then I'll do the same with the last one trim off pull off let it fall and then flatten it down so that now is stuck onto that piece of card I mean you can turn it upside down and stuff I would probably use more tape or stronger tape if it was going into a frame with no glass um, just because over time the weight may pull it away 
um, if you've not got the glass to stop it. But for the purposes of it going in my display book, it's got my display book to cover it up instead. So this one is a true 30 by 40 and that's one where the edge, I've had to trim it to fit it in. But the rest actually fit in really nice. So we'll put this one in here as a completed, done and dusted. You can always put information, details about, you know, what it is that you have done um, and finished and stuff like that. You can always put that sort of information um, with it, maybe in a little strip or a sticker on the front or on the back. But for me, I just like having them to be able to flip through good, bad or ugly pictures um, just because then my handiwork's got a place to go. I can always get an A3 frame as well and maybe decide to display one and then switch them out every few months so that I can display other ones. I have choices, I have choices, but they're all safe and out the way. Seems to have picked up a bit of dust there from underneath my desk. Um, I do have links to this display book and the card that I use inside. I do have links to where I got that on my website. So if you go to 4 at 147com under our favourites, you will find links to this. In fact, you'll find links to a lot of the things that I like to use in my videos and in my whole diamond painting process, there is links to all of it there. But I hope you've enjoyed this. What turned out, to, well, it's a small painting, isn't it? Quite a quick de-kitting. Do stay tuned because now this one is finished. There is, it's time to pick a new one. So it'll be quite fun to see what the app decides my next one's gonna be. But thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.